all right fishy folks welcome to arizona where it's 96 degrees it's hot us fat guys don't like the heat but i'm here on business we got done early the first thing i did was look for a fish store to check out and i got some advice from vince vince say gotta go to the ocean floor so let's go inside i've already been inside to ask if i could film but look at this 1500 gallon tank how many guppies do you think i could put in there do you think a better would like this so there's a lot of cool stuff in here a lot of big cool stuff i gotta ask how they feed it i'd be pretty interested but there's an arowana maybe i'll get that put it in a 20 high all right let's look at some more stuff we got bettas we got better stuff, more better stuff, plastic plants, decor. This tank might be my favorite I've ever seen. It's a 300 gallon, only $4,500. Um, oh, the tank's only $2,350, but $45 if you want everything. But look how cool it is. It's deep, it's short. I like it. All right, that's as far as I've seen in the store. So let's take a look what we have over here because there seems to be a pretty cool show tank. Blackwater tank. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Only a couple of fish I see. All right. And then uh, you'd expect the store called the Ocean Floor would have a lot of marine so there's some corals look at this tank only 20 g's includes tank stand and canopy 750 gallon acrylic i wonder if any deal yourself could make this tank huh anyway um so we got some corals sometimes i get the salt water rich folks not so often though and then uh, we got some more corals. Actually, that's just some live rock in there. And a few corals with these fancy lights. And little tiny corals. Look, they're baby corals. Pretty cool. Colonies in that tank over there gonna spread out. Yeah, I'll check those out. Flags, live rock. The salt area. Lots of corals. How you doing? Great, how are you? Good. Lots of salt stuff that I know nothing about. It's a pretty cool building. I think it was an old skating rink. Look at the floor. All right, more cool tanks that I can't afford looks like they have some koi look at this how cool is this an indoor pond very cool and they got clearance over here it's like some used tanks maybe what's that a 45 i know i destroyed one once pond stuff there's a cool bridge for the pond. I'm, I'm kind of digging this store, folks. This could be a long one. Maybe some more koi and a fancy waterfall. All right. There's some cichlids for you, cichlid folks. Don't say I don't show any cichlids, because boom, there they are. They have a poop ton of Aquion tanks. They've got a lot of tanks, a lot of big tanks too, I guess. In Arizona, they need big tanks. Oh, scratch. Financing available. Red Sea Reefer, extra, extra large, 750 gallons, $4,500. It's pretty damn nice though, I tell you that. Look at that, that's pretty. 
Oh, this one's cheap. Only 1,600. 210 gallon. That's a pretty cool tank. I've seen them. All right. So, dry goods. I don't know that we need to go look. Heaters. Ah, dollar per gallon sale. Ooh, rimless tanks. Rimless tanks always intrigue me. Oh, this is acrylic? No, I think it's glass. It feels like glass. I don't know. If you know, let me know. Oh. Japanese tank. Aqua Japan. Filters. Tanks. Bio cubes. More filters. Heaters. Thermometers. Air stuff. Uh, plant stuff. Tank cleaning stuff. I know. All you guys want to do is see the fish. Ah. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Alright, food. Let's see what they got for food. They got the Tetra. They got the ON, the Ocean Nutrition. This is what I've been using a lot in my fish room. Ocean Nutrition Brine Shrimp Plus. Everybody seems to like it. Sea Chem Food. API. Nothing out of the ordinary, really. Pacari over here. Ah, oh, PE pellets. This is what Lisa from Super Cichlid sells. A poop ton of. Oh. Oh, medicated food. They have medicated food over here. That's pretty nice. New Life Spectrum Hex Shield. $34. I've never priced that. Seems pricey. But I've never priced it. I'll have to check it. Alright. Your normal meds. Here's a pretty cool planted tank. Looks like tanks I see in Japan a lot. Alright, what do we have here? Oh, marine. And more marine. 20% off all saltwater fish people. Look at that, that's pretty cool. Can I put it in a 10 gallon? No, just kidding. Black ribbon eel. All right, that's that's pretty cool. Is that? That's pretty cool. More marine. All right, ginormous freshwater tank. The little diatoms. I can't complain. My tanks are dirty. Alright, let's go look at Tropical. Here's a little water container for you. <laughs> Alright. Where do we begin? I guess over here. Some plants. There's a little arowana. I can go in the 55. <laughs> wow. Those are some big angels. I've never seen angels that big in a store before. Look at that. Glowfish could care less. Alright, here's regular size angels. Large are 20, veils are 25. Not crazy. Uh, 
little tiny angels, ten dollars. So angels, angels, angels. These are nice. Acrylic. I like them. All right, some cardinals. Neons. Couple plecos. We're gonna turn around because there's a customer here, and I don't know if he wants to be on film or not. So they have gravel in these big, in these big tubs. Look at this little plants. We're gonna go around them. Just some tetras. They got sand and black sand and gravel. Quarries, tetras. Huh. Gara Rufa Duder fish? <laughs> I don't know what they are. Pretty cool though. Lots of tetras. So far, tanks look pretty clean, guys. I'm pretty impressed with the whole setup to begin with. You know, you get into a store and they have that ginormous 1500 gallon tank, but then there's dead fish everywhere. That always sucks. All right, live bears. Got some black mollies, some Dalmatian mollies. Mickey Mouse platies. Some goldfish down low, really nothing. I hate those tanks that are angled like that. Assorted sword tails. I don't see very many long swords. Some barbs. Tiger barbs, clown loaches. Tiger barbs and clown loaches. All right, we got some more goldfish down low. Black ghost knife. Wow, 30 bucks. I paid five for mine. Or six, maybe. Of course, mine's dead, though. So, that kind of sucks. Green tiger barb. I don't see any green tiger barbs. Huh. Killifish in a store. That's interesting. I can't say the last time I've ever seen that. Sharks. Gwarmies, go warmy. Go ahead, make fun of me. Lots of them, though. Looks like I just got a shipment in. Changing some water in there. More gold gwarmies. Some catfish and tetras. Buenos Aires tetras. I haven't seen any guppies yet. Not too happy about that. Got some rainbows. Got some rams. Do I see rams? Yeah, there's some rams in there. And some gourmies. Electric blue rams look kind of small. Gold rams. Don't look bad. All right, let's turn around over here because we missed a bunch of stuff. Some koi. Oh, this is two tanks. So there's, yeah, two tanks. Well, it's separated. So there's that ginormous one there. And then a couple of the smaller ones here. And... Huh. There's nothing in there. I don't see anything in there either. Not for sale, whatever it was. There's a little tiny pleco. See? They must be redoing these tanks or something. Let's see what's over here. Maybe it just displays. Looks like they're redoing them too. 
Alright. Alright. Oh. Assorted mollies. This must be like their oldest display. Or they bought it somewhere. Because it doesn't go with the rest of the store. Nothing really here. Oh, pea puffers. They're so cute and little. Royal Spotted Pleco. It's pretty cool. Those are some fish I don't know anything about. Not for sale. I see some discus. <sighs> Pricey. Ginormous sponge filter in there. They don't look half bad. They don't look bad at all. Ooh. What? What? What is that? Let's look. It's none of those. I don't know. Alright, we're gonna check over here. Fish being fed some frozen brine shrimp. How you doing? Great, how are you? Good. Do they always get frozen food? Not always. Twice a week, frozen. Twice a week, uh, flakes and pellets. And you, so you just feed five times a week? Four. Yep. Oh, yeah. Thank you Four for doing the math. Very, <laughs> every other day, pretty much. <laughs> All right, where is this big blue phantom pleco? All over the place. It's not a bad price either. Yeah. No, 65 bucks. How long have you been working here? Um, I've been back here for about four years, but I worked when I was 14 to 18 summers and uh, stuff like that. So a total about eight years. Go for it. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Jason. Jason. Yes. So, how long total have you been working here? Total of eight years. Eight years. Yes. Do you keep fish at home? I do. How many tanks do you have? Yes. Seven. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. <laughs> what do you keep? Uh, I do saltwater reefs and freshwater monster fish. Monster fish. Yes. I'm the opposite. I keep like 55 tanks of guppies. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anything special you want to say about the store? Oh, well, the last year or so, we've been doing a lot of remodels. Uh, if you haven't been in a long time, definitely come in and check us out. It's my first time. Oh, welcome <laughs> in. Welcome in. Yeah, uh, I'm from New Jersey. Oh, how long have you been out here? Uh, about 12 hours. Really? Yeah. So you was visiting? Yes. Gotcha. Just for a business trip. Right on. And I go home tomorrow morning at 9, so. Good deal. Well, I'll be here less than 24 hours, actually. Okay, wow. Fast yeah. trip. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Keeps you busy. So what's your best-selling fish? Ooh, all of them. I don't know. <laughs> We sell tons of African cichlids, um, obviously community, you know, mollies, yeah. guppies, platies, tetras, reservoirs, all that kind of stuff. Do you have guppies here? Because I didn't see We're any. out of guppies right now. I have them coming in on Thursday. What? I have more on the Monday. heck? I know. <laughs> they get the people like you sometimes to come in and buy like 20 or 30 at a time. Yeah, yeah. You know, take yeah. quite a bit of our stock away. Yeah, but, well, you know. <laughs> what are you guys known for? Uh, having a huge store and a product mainly. Um, you know, pretty much any product you want, we should always have it in stock. If we don't, it's less than a week away. Cool. Well, thanks so much. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. All right. We're going to continue with the tour and let him feed. All right. We're into the cichlid section, folks. Oh, look at the little tiny arowana. I can put that in a 10-gallon tank, right? It doesn't get much bigger. Snowball pucko. I didn't ask if they ship fish. Hmm. It's probably good if I didn't ask. All right. What else we got? Parrot Panda. Huh. I wonder what they used to make those. Anyway. I'm thinking that's supposed to be a green phantom, but doesn't look too healthy. Anyway. Ooh, what's that? A bicher? Bicher. Alright, we move on. More different size arowana. Some Oscars. Jack Dempsey's.
galaxy pleco. They have a lot of nice plecos. I'm not gonna lie, that is a pretty cool looking pleco. Hiya, how you doing? All right, moving on. Cichlids. Angelus pleco. More geophagus, more cichlids. I guess he said this was a cichlid area. Oh, look, a little catfish. Cat, one of those and an arowana in a 20 long should be fine, right? Um, yeah, I know I keep making the same joke because it's silly. More cichlids. Lots of cichlids. Lots of cichlids. Strawberry peacocks. These are kind of cool looking. More cichlids. Yep, guess what? Cichlid, cichlid, cichlid. Cichlid, cichlid, cichlid. No, I'm not stopping. They're all the same to me. I'm just kidding. Look, look. Lots of cichlids. All right, fishy folks. They have a ton of rock. Take a look, see what they have over here. They do have a ton of rock. Lace stone, $1.69 a pound. I have no idea if that's good or not, but pretty cool stuff. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with this store. It's, it's quite lovely. Looks like they have some bulk food, vitamin booster flake. Hmm. I don't know what any of this stuff is. Nature's disease remedy and immunizing treatment. Sure. Okay. All right, fishy folks, that's it for me from the ocean floor in Arizona, where it's hot. Don't forget to check out the website, guys, www.michaelsfishroom.com, and we'll see you later.